Everyone talks about AI, but very few of us agree what AI is. Why is AI any different than Excel? Excel appears extremely intelligent. And I'll tell you the difference. The difference is a geek like me, every time I wrote code in my younger years before AI, I solved the problem first. It was my intelligence. And then I told the computer to do it over and over and over and over as per my intelligence. It's like giving you a puzzle of 10 pieces and then telling you, put this one in the first corner, then put this one below it, then put that one below it. If you solve the puzzle that way, that doesn't make you intelligent at all. If I gave you the puzzle, however, and I, say, I said, figure it out yourself, now you're intelligent. AI is that, and that's the biggest differentiator you need to understand. We actually do not tell the computers how to solve the problem. We do not tell them how to win the game of Go. We just show them enough games of Go and tell them, go ahead, tell us how this game is played. Very, very big difference. How far have we come? 2023, we had ChatGPT 4, and there are estimates that ChatGPT 4 was 155 IQ. Remember, language models are just about knowledge and linguistic intelligence. There are so many other types of intelligence out there that AI hasn't done yet, but in linguistic intelligence, in the task we've given them, they were comparable to Elon Musk at 155. Einstein was never measured, but Einstein was estimated to be 162. Too. This is very alarming. Why? Because every task we've ever given to AI, they became the best in the world at it. They are the absolute best players of Go. They're the best players of chess. They're the best players of Atari. They are the best knowledge aggregators. They're now the best artists by far. They make music. They do whatever we tell them better than anyone else. Remember that. Whatever we tell them, they do better than anyone else. ChatGPT 4.0 is probably 10 times, 5 to 10 times better than ChatGPT. It's hard to estimate what the IQ of that is, but just let your imagination go. If you've ever, like me, had the chance to sit with one of the prominent physicists in the world, you understand what it means to have an intelligence gap. Because when I sat in rooms, I'm, I love physics and I study physics deeply. But when I sat in, in the room with the professors, I had no idea what they were talking about. Not let alone understand what they were, the analysis they were giving. That's because their intelligence is, say, 50% higher than me. I want you to imagine that and imagine in the next two to three years, if something is double our intelligence or 10 times our intelligence or a thousand times our intelligence. Now, this is very, very eye-opening. Now, I want you to, to also understand what's happening this year. So this year is very important, very pivotal for AI. I try to remind myself by saying it is the triple A CDF. A few things will happen this year. One is what we call aperture. So basically, the size of data that you could give AI in the past in a prompt was a few lines. Now you can give it millions and millions and millions of lines in context. You can give it PDF documents and videos, and, and it gets intelligence from that. The second is what we call agents, and agents are AIs talking to AIs. So last year, we were talking to AIs telling them what to do. This year, AIs are talking to AIs. Yes, last year as well, but this year it's the name of the game, really. Which basically means you can talk to one AI and say, book me a, tr a trip to this wonderful city called Riga, and the AI will do everything. Which is the third A, by the way, which is known as prompt or text to action. You used to prompt them and they give you back knowledge or content. Now you can actually prompt them and they will give you back an action in the real world. Some of the dreams of some of the prominent AI scientists and CEOs is that by the end of 2024, early 2025, you should be able to go to an AI and say, I want to invest $1,000. I want you to bring it back to me as 1,200 in six months time, and then it will do everything. It will search the internet. It will find out what people are interested in. It will find enough knowledge about it. Write a book about it. Design the cover of the book. Put your name on it. Publish it on Amazon. Sell it, and then give you 1,200 back. This is about to happen. The C and the D is complex mathematics and deep reasoning. We were not even as smart as they look. We have not cracked those yet. I do better math than AI today, but I won't by the end of the year. And deep reasoning was their ability to understand things like if it takes one towel an hour to dry, it doesn't take 10 towels. Uh, 10 hours, it takes the same amount. It's deep reasoning. So the stuff that you've got in algebra, we've improved drastically on that. 